Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. And for everyone who doesn't know me, I'm a 3D and visual effects trainer and artist for more than 20 years now. Today's lesson is a demo lesson from my newest publication Pixel Train Blender Fundamentals Fast Forward. This publication is a full introduction into Blender, its workflows and tools for beginners and artists from other 3D applications. So if you want to learn Blender and don't want to watch hundreds of tutorials here on YouTube and don't get the answers you are looking for, please consider this publication. You find the trailer here on my YouTube and it's a publication which is at the moment 20 hours and 150 lessons, but it's still growing with the plus content. But now let's get into the lesson. If you have any questions, please comment below. And if you like this kind of tutorials, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. But now let's get started. Have fun, your Helga Mouse. In the previous lessons, we talked about how to assign materials to objects you also learned a little bit about slots and how to make a material with the base color. Now, I use this knowledge now here to start texturing our house, which we built in our polygon modeling section. And you see, I now run into problems here. So you see that some areas here, for example, here, these windows or the dormer front are joined together. So I can't work with one material assignment per object anymore. And that's now the topic of this lesson. So let's first start here quite simple. I take one of these windows. Let's take this one here on the tower. I select that and I can now press the local view keyboard shortcut, which is the slash on the numpad or the divide on the numpad. And now we see that this element here has a brown material. And I explained to you that the first slot gets all the mesh data. So materials are assigned always to faces and by default, all the faces are assigned then to the first slot. So what we now want to do is we want to have a second slot. So click here to make a new slot here. And you see, we can now place a new material in it. Let's do that here. I click here new and we say, this is our window material for an abstract window, but nothing changes here. So let's say we have a base color only to make this a little bit more visible. Let's say this is a light blue here for the moment, but you see nothing happens because this slot here exists now on the object, but there's no assignment at all. By the way, let's talk about these slots for a moment. You see, we have now here a slots list and the materials assigned. In the shader editor, we also have a slot list. You see, there's a drop down for that. So if you are later work in the shader editor, you have here the slots list. You can add your slots, remove them, sort them, things like that. So it's absolutely the same thing. And you also can switch here which material slot you want to see. And you also see that here on the right side, the material then changes. So this is then the same or the equivalent of that here. Let's go now to slot number two. And we still don't have any assignment. To do that now, we have to go to the edit mode for the object. So let's go with the tab key into edit mode. And you see in the moment I do that, I get here new buttons. If you are in object mode, no buttons. If you go to edit mode, you get these buttons. And what you now can do is you can select something in face mode because like I've said, materials are assigned to faces. If you now select a face, for example, this face here, you see that the slot automatically changes. So Blender shows you, okay, this face here is assigned to slot number one. And this here is this slot here. And what you now can do is we can change that. So to change that, I have to select this guy here. And you see that the other side, we should also change, but I wait with that for a moment. So I select now this window here. And now I select the slot, which I want to have for this face, which is this slot here, where we place the window material. And then we click assign here. And now you have two materials inside of the same mesh. Great. Now you saw that we've forgotten the other side. So let's select this face here, select the slot again and click assign. So easy like that. There's another helper here, which is the select here. So sometimes you go in and I explained if you select a face here, Blender automatically jumps to the slot. So this is one way of understanding what is showing what, but sometimes you want to do the opposite thing. So what you can do is you select here, for example, this slot here, 
and now you want to select everything which is in this slot. So click here on to select and now you see this is the selection which is now done. And the same thing here for deselect. And this is sometimes an interesting concept. For example, you select first everything which is brown. So let's first deselect everything here by clicking in the void here. First go here to brown, select everything. Now everything is selected. Now go to window here and say deselect. And now you see only the elements which are not window are selected. You can use that here also for operations like this. So let's make a third slot here. And this slot here now is for these wood parts. So let's say white wood and make this something whitish, a bit warmer. You can change that later if you learn a little bit more about textures and so on. So, and now we want to have these areas here. How to get them? One quick way of doing that would be get rid of everything you have. So I go to the window, I say select everything which is in the window slot and then I hover here over this viewport and I press the H key for hide. So everything is now gone. Don't do that for brown because all the rest is automatically the first slot. Then we go here over one of these guys in face mode and now I want to select everything which is connected to that. And this is the L key. You remember L like selected linked and now we have the whole thing. I hover here over the next one, press the L key and now we do the same thing also for the back L key and L key. And if you want to check if everything is right, go to the white wood and assign it. And now you see it's okay. If you now find by accident that something is wrong, for example, you selected also this year and assign it. Let's do it again. Select this here, assign it to white. And now you see, oh, I want to get rid of that. What you can do here. And that's quite simple. Let's go in here. I don't think that this was assigned correctly. Now it's assigned. How to do that? You select the wrong one here. And then you select the right slot just brown and say assign. So you can switch it all the time. So this looks good for me. I think this is done. So let's get back the rest, old age. And now we have something like that here. Now let's go out of the edit mode and press the slash or the divide key on the numpad to get the whole house back here. So that's now the way we are working here. And I give you later a little bit of time to do that here with the house. Let's try one more. For example, the door here. I select the door. I go for convenience here into the local mode. And then I dive into that. And now we work a little bit faster. We make first a new slot. And you don't need to add the material at the beginning. You can go in here and say these are the windows. I select this slot here and I say assign and you see you get a default material here because there is nothing here but you don't need to add the material directly. It's working because a slot is a slot. But what I do now here, I open here now the list for this slot and we say this is window. Here we go. And if you want, I think it would look nice if we have here the inner world. Let's press the L key. Wonderful. That's this year, but I think this year we have to test if this year is not also the windows. So shift H and you see the windows are also there. So they are linked here. So I select now everything which is window. So go to the slot window, first deselect everything and then we click select. Then press the H key again to get rid of the windows here. And now I want that this year all gets new material. So how to do that? I select everything with the A key, press plus here, and now we assign everything to this slot here. And then we look into a list. I think white wood would be good. And then let's bring everything back here, deselect. And now you see you have made your assignments here. Go out, slash on the numpad. And now we have these materials. So I think that's enough about this here. So have fun with the rest and we see each other in the next lesson.